off tonight. Let's move straight on to Thomas, who's also a Celtic fan from Kilsyth. How would you sum up your feelings tonight, Thomas? Uh, hi, Gordon. Hi, panel. Uh, I just think it's absolutely, absolutely ridiculous, Gordon. I, mean, I would have heard the last call of he's, he's doing things that, that don't work. They clearly, they clearly don't work, and he's still trying it. He's tra- he's tra- he's tra- he's, tra- he's chopping tra- changing the defence. He's chopping tra- changing the goalkeeper. Clearly, it's not working, and, he, and he still tries to, to 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 make it work. I really don't know. I, honestly, I really don't know what's happened with Celtic just now. Um, I, I I really feel we need to. As she was, as she, called, she, she was she was spot on. The league the league was done in November. So you know what I mean. And, uh, I just feel that we just need to. The guy, the guy needs to go. I, I, I've, I've come on here and said to say that countless mm-hmm. times, but after last night's performance, it was absolutely shocking. Had you right, so? I'm trying to kind of get an idea of of where you're at, Thomas. You talk about it should have gone already. Um, most people, I think, had written this season off, but but do you think it, it's still getting worse? Is last night the low point, or it was the has the low point been already? I think the last I think last night was just one of many, Gordon. Um, I, I really do. Um, I, I just obviously he's them a, a, a way long ago. He's them, he them in a way at Fernand Faros after the Fernand Faros game, to be honest. But again, I never harm. Um, I, I just, I just feel it, the silence itself the part is definite. Dermot Desmond has not come out and said not a word to MD about what's happening. And, and to, to, but, on you go, sorry, I, was, I know you're yeah, at home, it's um, not as easy to see you when you're trying to... No, he's quite right, uh, Thomas is quite right, the silence from Dermot Desmond is disturbing. At the end of the day, Celtic is a business, and the business is in trouble here, because you can't sell the manager to the ticket-buying public. The, the current manager cannot be sold to the season ticket buying public for next season. It's a commercial and PR disaster if you try and do that. The reason why I go on about uh, November, in November, Ferenc Varos was one thing, but Neil Lennon created a diversion after that game by ripping the dressing room apart in a public press conference and saying there were players there who didn't want to be there. In November, Celtic lost 4-1 at home to Sparta Prague in the Europa League. I said then, and I have written since then, that when the fourth goal went in for Sparta Prague at Celtic Park, one of two things should have happened. Neil Lennon should have resigned that night, or Neil Lennon should have been removed that night. Um, Thomas, yet again, the set pieces Celtic just so soft in that area. Um how much of that comes back on Neil Lennon? How much of it comes back on on the players who who are involved? Well, I think it's I think it's a call. I've said we've got a defensive coach. I, 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 I see. To be fair, let, let's kind of knock that one in the head. You hear this all the time. John Kennedy happens to be a centre half in his day. He's he is not Celtic's defensive coach. And that's something that just seems to have grown arms and legs over the years. That's not to say he can't take some of the blame with Neil Lennon and everyone else, but he's not Celtic's defensive coach. Right, right, okay, but but I, I just I just what are they doing at Lennox Town then, Gordon? They should be they should be really really focused on defending because that goal that we can see that last night was absolutely comedy. That lags up, I don't know what lags up was playing it. Like it, it was it marked them all all when the ball came in. Then he ran away for the play and ball watched. Mm. The guy the guy he the guy he did that and the, and the net. I just I just feel that he's. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to what to think. I just, I just feel he needs to. You sound scunnered, to Thomas. Something. You're almost speechless by it all. Um, I'm definitely scunnered, Gordon. I just feel that somebody should come out of Celtic like Park. As I said, the silence is the absolutely deafening. Dermot doesn't hasn't even come out and said what's going to happen. You know what I mean? I just we're, we're only going to go down the hill. It's simple as that. Mark Wilson, we because of the way this has been going, we do flip between. You know, isolated incidents last night and, and then bigger picture But Neil Lennon feels that it summed up Celtic season 
talk to us about that goal that they conceded and what happened, what should have happened, how symptomatic is it of what Celtic have been doing? It's happened all season. Um, any balls that's coming into the box is... I think Neil Lennon's mentioned that first contact on the ball never seems to be there from a Celtic shirt. In terms of last night's goal, lax out, you have to, you have to question if it means enough to him to keep a clean sheet because, you know, White just easily runs off him. The lax out's there to block the run mm. of the striker. So that's his role. He's not there to out-jump Jordan White because he, there's about six inches between yeah. them. He's there to make it difficult for the big striker to allow that set-up, that defensive set-up of, of your bigger guys to go and freely head on the ball. Now, White doesn't do anything. He runs round the back and lacks out. You can clearly see it doesn't mean enough to him because he just drops him and he's got a free header. That's what bother Neil Lennon because he is watching that he has put these guys into those positions with trust that they would carry out the job to the T mm -hmm. and they haven't done it this season Neil Lennon saying after the game you know we've been talking about it all season almost what more can we do you know players need to